Greetings all, Shane Bruce, Rest of My Daisy. And we've just received a new package. This is a uh, Daisy Model 94, and I wanted to get a video of this because honestly, I've, I've never had a gun show up wrapped in paper. I'm assuming there's a sleeve inside, but I don't know. We will find out. Oh, okay. There it is. That's good. I was a bit worried. <laughs> now, let's see what sort of treasures we got off of eBay this time. This particular gun was a uh, advertised as a parts weapon which is exactly what I look for when I'm shopping for Daisy products on eBay because I don't have any intention of buying collectible guns since I technically don't collect them I just rebuild them Ah, nice. Wow. It is, in fact, a 94 Red Rider. Well, look at that little puppy. Now, the neat thing about this, uh, this gun is a uh, probably early 60s Red Rider. They transitioned back and forth. Daisy never could really make its mind up about what to stock these weapons in. And this is a plastic sock Red Rider with the old Red Rider carbine logo on it. Um, it was only used on the Model 94s and not used all that long. Daisy had just transitioned from wood stocks to plastic stocks because, you know, back in the 60s, plastics were everything. That famous scene in uh, the, the uh, Dustin Hoffman film where this guy tries to give Dustin a big tip about the future and he just says one word, plastics. So Daisy committed heavily to plastic stocks, but plastics were fairly new back then. And people didn't really think in terms of long-term usage. Um, what would plastic do over time if it's left in the corner of a hot attic or in a closet? Well, I'll tell you what it'll do. You can see this on the forearm. The plastic composition that Daisy used had a tendency to droop. And on the buttstock, you'll see some waviness there where the plastic in response to uh, heat and humidity has extract uh, swollen up or contracted so this plastic buttstock suffers from all those maladies even though it's got some cool stuff on it like the daisy credo you don't get that on a woodstock gun and i have yet to been able to figure out a way to replicate that on my metal butt plates but it is on the list i would like to do that all right overall a gun has a flip peep. The flip peep is operational. Uh, the plastic stock guns also had the fake hammers. Now, you never saw this on a Woodstock Daisy Red Rider because, hey, they're Woodstocks. I kind of like the fake hammer. I haven't gone around, gotten around to fabricating one for my efforts yet because it tends to get in the way. Another neat thing about the 94 model Red Rider was this barrel band. The barrel band here, if you'll notice, has a slot, a little hole. And that's for tying off your string, your Latigo loop, whatever. Make yourself a sling. And it's also got, difficult to see in the rust here, but it's also got a little imprint. Kind of a, oh, I don't know, an eagle-ish looking doodad. Kind of Indian-like, you know. A nice motif. Now, as we travel down the muzzle, since it's Model 94, it's got a hook front. And it's also got a secondary loop. Because the muzzle band has always got the hole for the sling pound. It's a bottle cap daisy, that's cool. We're going to pull this out if we can and see what kind of condition it's in. There we go. Well, that rascal's pretty complete. It's got the, uh, uh, the, the spring that's mounted in there to keep the BBs from rolling down the barrel. And the tube is in good shape. All right, so that's nice. That's a good piece. Let's see if she'll cock. It's got a trigger return spring. That's a field expedient test. Does your trigger spring back? If it does, the spring's in it. 
Now, let's see if it'll engage. Oh, that's stiff. Oh, there's a bunch of gunk in there. So when I take it apart and clean it up, we'll get it out of there and discover that there's a lot of trash in it. And I don't know if it's legible or if you can make it out, but there's the logo. Daisy. And then you can roll it down and see Model 94 Red Rider. Red Rider Carbine. Carbine. Isn't on all of them. Is on a 94, so. So, a pretty good find from eBay. This is going to clean up nice. And it's going to make an excellent resto mod. Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.